What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in this video I'm going to be talking about Revit versus 3ds Max. Now this is one of the most common questions that uh, people leave uh, in, my com uh, in my comment sections on my videos. Hey, should I learn 3ds Max or Revit? I'm an architecture student, I don't know what to, what to learn. So whenever I hear this question, I, I always, uh, I didn't know what to answer because you kind of need to ask some additional questions. So. 3ds Max is a different software than Revit. Revit is mostly for architecture and Revit is basically a tool that's specifically built for uh, creating project docu documentation. So it's uh, designed to kind of take you from the initial stages of the design where you're just kind of you just have the basic shape of the building, you have some ideas and then you put that in Revit and then through Revit, through this amazing platform, you can work and you can make add complexity to the project and finally you can get all of the project documentation out of that Revit file. Now on the other hand, 3ds Max is something that I would more consider uh, like an, 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 an animation software. So all of the animators and all of those 3D movies, you know, those Game of Thrones dragons and stuff, they're done in softwares like 3ds Max or Maya or something like that. So this is 3ds Max is mostly an animation software that some architects use because of its amazing uh, 3D rendering capabilities. So when you're rendering something in 3ds Max it has some amazing capabilities, some amazing settings. You can set up the materials way more complicated than you can do it in Revit but only for visual stuff. So when you're setting a material in uh, Revit, you can set up all of the uh, the cost of the material, the weight of the material, the thermal efficiency uh, values of that material, and you can do some settings for the kind of the appearance of the material. But it's very basic; it doesn't really look good, however you do it. Uh, but on the other hand, in 3ds Max, you can't really set up the weight of the material or the cost of it and even if you did you don't really have any option of kind of calculating the, that cost but for doing the appearance appearance of the material it's amazing you can you can really make stuff look photorealistic you can apply some textures that that just make everything seem so real. I mean people have hard time distinguishing between a 3ds Max uh, rendering and a real photo, photo. So that's what 3ds Max is for. It's for creating really photorealistic uh, renderings. So And for modeling I, I would say Revit is way superior for modeling. 3ds Max is kind of a free software. Uh, you, you kind of free form and model. It's it's designed made to kind of create stuff that looks good, not do something that's extremely precise. Now it can be precise, of course, but it's just nothing compared to Revit. It's a lot more complicated to do some precise design in uh, 3ds Max than it is to do it in Revit. But uh, by being able to kind of create free form, uh, it's used for animations. They can create kind of 3D people running or, or dragons from Game of Thrones and stuff like that. So, should you learn 3ds Max? Well, that depends on uh, what are your needs as an architect, whatever your job is. So, if you're doing some, uh, if you're doing just rendering, so maybe you're a rendering technician and that's what you do. You they give you a project that say this is the building. Please create a rendering of this, and then you just model the building and render it. Uh, it might make sense to do uh, 3ds Max. A lot of interior design companies uh, render everything in 3ds Max. They sometimes they model everything in 3ds Max. Sometimes they model in different softwares like uh, Revit or SketchUp, and then they just import that in 3ds Max to do all of the material setup because it's just superior for setting up materials. And then they do the rendering within. Uh, 3ds Max, and that's that's how they get all of your those renderings. So if you're uh, if you want to pursue that, if you want to become a professional at rendering and setting up the materials, then I suggest you learn 3ds Max. But if you just want to be an architect and your whole focus is just I want to design a building, and then somebody else can do the those photorealistic renderings, and sometimes you don't really have a need for a photorealistic rendering. I mean, uh, a lot of projects uh, just get by with simple Revit renderings. You, you don't have to have that pristine like uh, photorealistic feel 
of the rendering for every single project. It's more for selling some high-end projects, like if they're doing some new building in Dubai and they want to sell that project, yeah, they're going to be doing some extremely photorealistic renderings. But if you're just doing some uh, local, I don't know, office building, yeah, you, you don't really need it all that often. But anyway, that's my, those are my thoughts on 3ds Max versus Revit and please tell me in the comment section below, do you agree with me? Are you more of a 3ds Max person or more of a Revit uh, person and are you an architect or are you using this just for render, the software just to get some cool renderings? Anyway, that's it for this video. Please like this video, share it to your friends that maybe haven't decided should they learn Revit or 3ds Max. And follow me on social media, I'm posting there regularly, regularly, links are in the description of the video, and I will see you tomorrow.